Hello, hey, hi there, hello, hey, <laughs> and welcome to What Is That? What's going on with that thing? With your host, Spencer Boyd. Um, that, that's, hello, thank you for coming. Hi there, hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess, you know, since it's the first episode, let's just go ahead and, and go into what the show is about. That's probably a good thing to know. You know, so here we go. So the show is I, your host, Spencer Boyd, that's me, select a random, unassuming topic to research and talk about. I'm only allowed to spend about two to five minutes before the show starts to do as much or as little research as I possibly can, and then immediately start trying to talk about it. I, I'll, give, I'll give my opinions, you know, some facts that I found out about it within that two to five minute time frame, things that, you know, I might believe are probably true, but they could be entirely wrong. I don't know, you know, I spent like two to five minutes researching this. Your guess is as good as mine, maybe better. I don't know, I don't know who you are, so you could know a lot about this topic or not that much. That's really, it's up in the cards. Uh, so, and hey, and whoa, uh, not only that, but every episode I get a special guest to come on. I have to find, they're a resident expert on the topic I'm talking about. I have to find a resident expert every episode about the specific topic. Cause you know, you know, you know, you can't really do a show like this without having an expert on to re refute all the, the wrong things that I said about this. Cause there's gonna be some big claims I make that are definitely wrong. Um, but fortunately, hey, not, not, not anything too, we're gonna try not be too political on here. Just have some, some nice, good old fashioned fun. Um, and you know, I feel like I should preface this. You know, I want to be, I want to be honest with my audience. I want to, you know, I, I just want to be here, you and me, us talking. And well, you're not talking, but I, I, you know, I feel like we know each other. And uh, this is, I just want to go out and say this is very low production. All right, if the audio on this is bad, if the editing is terrible, it's because I'm a young youth with a budget of zero dollars using an iPad and a phone to record this. All right, this is, there's no fancy recording. I'm very unequipped to try and make this show. Which, you know what, I think maybe adds the charm a bit. Cause this is just gonna be a big old train wreck. Or not, or it'll be great. You know, who's to say? So I feel like I've spent enough time going on and on about the show. So let's just jump into it, right? And so here, on this episode, the topic for today we'll be talking about is knives. What are they? What's going on with those? Well, that's the question that we aim to answer. So knives, you know, everybody has one, maybe, maybe they don't. That's a big claim I'm making, but I see in most households, there's at least one knife. And, you know, before I start, how about we just go ahead and go into the Wikipedia description of what a knife is. So, a knife, plural, knives, is, are, you know, plural, is a tool with a cutting edge or blade, handheld or otherwise, with most having a handle. So just most. That's, I feel like that's strange to have a knife without a handle, because then it's just a blade that you're picking up with your hands. That's no good. I guess that's why most have a handle. That that makes sense, I suppose. So you know what? Let's let's. I'm that's so there. There was a fact. There you go. There's a fact about knives. Now let's let's talk about some opinions about knives. Because <laughs> oh boy, do I have some opinions. First off, knives. You know, everybody assumes when you say the word knife, you assume utensil, right? And I feel like that's good because the the amount of knife, the majority of knives you'll see in your life, hopefully, will be utensils. And I think let's just talk about knives as utensils. So, you know, here are my thoughts on it. There are three main utensils in the world. Te techni technically, you know, I'm not counting sporks, because that's a whole other can of worms there. Sporks, I, yeah, I don't know, there's some conspiracy about them. I don't know why they're not bigger than they are, but hey, you know, this is not an episode about sporks, so let's just leave that behind us. Maybe we'll return to that at some point. All I'm saying is something fishy is going on with that business. But, right, three, three main utensils that exist in the world. Sporks, spoons, and, of course, knives. So let's just get into them. T talk about my opinions on them, right? Forks, 
they, they're, they're nice. They're good. That I would, you know what, I would go ahead and put it out there. Forks are probably the most useful of all the utensils. All utensils have their own uses, and they're all, you know, but I feel like forks you use the most. Of all the utensils, forks you definitely have the using a lot more than spoons and knives. So they're nice, and they're kind of, you know, they're good, they're functional, they're, you know, they're nice to look at. So knives, I mean, forks, <laughs> forks, they're nice, you know. Spoons, eh, they're fine. They do their job, but I mean, if you think about it, right, a spoon is really just a concave piece of metal on a stick. I just, I don't feel like there's anything special about that. You know, and that's... And spoons, you will use the least of. You will, of the three of them, spoons, you least use. The, the two things spoons are used for is, like, yogurt and soup and ice cream. So three things that you use spoons for. Which, I don't know, ice cream and yogurt, because cause it's frozen yogurt. Well, we'll not get into the semantics of it, but th those are, like, the three things you use spoons for. You can, I don't know, you can use them for a can of beans, but you can also use a fork for that. You don't need a spoon for that. You can use a fork. So spoons, y you know, you, you have to have them. I agree. Well, you know what? No, because you could just drink soup. So if you want to be dignified about it, you have to have spoons. But you don't technically need spoons. All right, but knives. Now here, let's get into knives. So those are forks and spoons, but knives. Our main topic, knives, they're just nice. You know, knives are just, they're elegant, they're useful, they're elegant, you know, they're just great things. Cause they're just a thin piece of metal with just a blade at the end. They're just, you know, ah, I just like them. They're, you know, you, like, because forks, they're useful, they're good, but they're not as elegant. The knife is just a thin, it's like a, a cascading waterfall of metal. Not really, but I feel like that kind of describes them. I don't know, knives are just nice, you know? If you think of the most elegant of the three tools, definitely knives. So already you got that going for them. You know, hey, knives can even be used in place of forks. Honestly, honestly, because if... If those of you have seen uh, the the Robin Hood with Errol Flynn, you know I think that's yeah it was with Errol Flynn whatever the old Robin Hood right there was that one scene where he kidnapped all the bad guys and they're out in the forest and having a big old feast and oh it's lovely and if you will notice there were no forks there there were none. Robin Hood, he had a little piece of, of chicken, and he got a knife, and he stuck it in the chicken, and he ate it, just like that. Normally, you know, you'd be like, oh, well, I have to use a fork for that. No, no, no. You could use a knife, which is what Robin Hood, hero, true classic hero, used. He used a knife. That's it. That's all he did. And I think that's beautiful. That just goes to show how great knives are. Um, and hey, also, we're just talking about the utensils part for knives. We're not even talking about the full range of them. As, you, as, as I said, you know, when you think of knife, you think of the utensil knife. But that's just, that's just, that's, that's, that, that's just the tip of the iceberg with knives, because there's so many uses. Utensils is just, just one of them. You know, they could be used as tools, like hunting or pocket knives or something like that. They could be used as a traditional or religious implement, such as the, uh, the cur curpan which I saw on Wikipedia. I didn't, I didn't actually check it. I think I checked it one time before, and I th it's used for some religion. As I said, we're not gonna get political on here, but I'm sure whatever it's used for is very lovely. Um, but that, I mean, I really, I didn't research curpans. I researched knives, so that's, so they can be used for religious stuff. Or, hey, or, whoa, they could be used as weapons. Stabbing people, stab, 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 switchblades, hoo, hoo, hoo. You know, th there's so many uses for knives. Those four that I just said, that way you could use them for that. And probably other stuff if you think about it. I, I, you know, I mean, so that's, those are just my thoughts and opinions and some facts and some things that might be a fact, maybe they're not, who knows. Uh, yeah, so that's all I really have to say about that for now, cuz, I think it's time to bring on our special guest, right? Um, 
he, uh, he, he, he has some experience with knives. He is a resident expert. So let's go ahead and uh, call up our special guest, who we have with us today, resident amateur knife maker and knife expert, Theron Charles Smith III. You know what? I'm supposed to say that after I phone him. I wrote it down. And I was, I'm supposed to call him and then say that. So just forget, we're gonna do a re-over, redo. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's go ahead and call him up, huh? How about that? Hello? Hello, Charlie, Charlie. Are you there? Yes. Hey, there, so, all right, all right, well, you're on the show, Charlie. So we have with us today, resident amateur knife maker and knife expert, Theron Charles Smith III. Go ahead, say hello to our listeners, Charlie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, all of you listeners out there, that's that's me. I'm Charlie. You, uh, you, you sound kind of tired, I'm Charlie. Expert. You're all, you all right? Yeah, no, I'm doing great. Okay, just, just checking. I just want to make sure your health is, is doing good. So, all right, so, so, Charlie, as, as I understand it, right, let, let's just get into it. You were once a knife salesman. Is that true? Oh yeah, that was that was true. I was a knife salesman oh, for wow. quite a time, selling knives uh, not door to door, but by appointment. Yep. Ah, that, oh, okay, okay, all right. So, see, this is the, now. Here we go. We're finding out facts. I thought that you went door to door, but it's by appointment. Is that that's yeah? So, so yes. tell, how would somebody set up an appointment for knives? Oh well, you just kind of like. Uh, well, what you do is you would just contact your friends and family and uh, see if they would you know, let you do your little presentation and then you present for them and then they're usually like, wow, these knives are so good. I, I just, oh, wow, they're oh, amazing. Man. I gotta buy them. And oh. then after they buy them, then you, then you ask them, uh, hey, do you know anybody else who would just watch your presentation? And, and usually the, the idea is, hey, well, after you're done watching the presentation, oh, you're going to want to buy the knives. And so, uh, yeah, people will watch them or watch the presentation and it just kind of grows from a network from that okay from, uh, so so it's really just you have to know people and that's yes oh, okay uh, i feel like that's kind of i don't know i feel like that's 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 limiting why, why not go door to door why you know i feel like what so, you mean that's so <laughs> if somebody all right if somebody that's bizarre why would what you do you mean door door that's door door when you think nice. of a salesman that's so creepy Char okay, Charlie, when you think of a salesman, you think of a door-to-door -door salesman. If somebody knocked on my door, knock, 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 and I opened the door and they're like, hey, sir, would you like some knives? I'd be intrigued because I, you know, first, I didn't think I needed knives, but now I'm not sure. Maybe I do. Um, Spencer, when's the last time you opened a door for a salesman? Ch All right, Charlie, let's not... I'm, let's... I'm just curious. I just, I'm just looking for, you know, you know some clear. Some I clarity. feel like that's beyond the point. At this point, I, I really don't think so because in a real life situation, you're not. That's not going to happen. Well, oh, People don't like door to door salesmen okay. traditionally. All right, there's you, a taboo against them. Though that's a fair point, but all right. Normally, I go ahead and I look in the little door hole, the little you know, the to see who's at the door before I open it. And you know, some people. I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know that person. I don't want to open it. But, yeah, you don't know the person. But so if you, you dressed up all door. fancy, you had a nice business suit on, you had a briefcase, I'd be intrigued. I'd be like, oh, as well, some. I, I didn't wear a suit. I just kind of sometimes wore a polo. That's about it. Oh, Char you I just a wore a polo a bag. Charlie, that's so unprofessional. What? That's. I that never nice. buy knives from you if you just showed up wearing a polo. What? What are you talking? Well, I want some professionalism with my knife salesmen. What? Why? Don't you just show up like a slob? Oh, here's some knives. That's the, uh, that. I don't, I don't know, Charlie. I don't, that's. I've, All right, Spencer. Have you sold any knives? Okay, Charlie. You know what? I feel like you're getting a little antagonistic there. I'm. Not, I'm we're not, not talking not about just me. Trying to what? Understand that you think you think you can just walk up to somebody and sell them knives and. You have to be dressed in a suit. Well, that's not the case. That's not how you go about uh, salesmanship. That's that that's kind of weird and probably. What do you mean that's weird? People. That's that's salesman. When you think of when you think of a salesman, when you think of Dunder Mifflin paper salesman, when you think of death of a salesman, you think of a person in a suit going door to door selling knives. That's what you think of, Charlie. Okay, well, Death of a Salesman was, like, in, what, in the 20th century or All something? All right, well, like, I never read it, that's, so... Times have changed. I mean, 
<laughs> if you haven't read it, why did you reference it? Because everybody knows the title. So if you think a salesman, you're like, oh, that's something that has the word salesman in it. So I assume it's about a person who's a salesman. I don't know. Let's not get Spencer, into... Spencer, your, your whole idea of a salesman is just, just based on these preconceived notions that you can't even, like, cite to specific examples. Exactly, examples. Charlie. Kind of and that's everybody's idea of a salesman. So if, 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 if somebody shows up that's not that, then I think they're not a salesman. They're I really don't fishy. think it's everybody's idea of a salesman. Okay, that's... Charlie. Okay. Do we want to call in our friends and see what their idea of a salesman is? Because I... Sure. 90... I, I, I don't mind. All right. Well, I sec. don't have the. No, give me no, 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 no. Give Char me a sec. What are you give finding, people? Edison. Hold on. All right. What are you? What are you? What? Wait, wait. wait. Can I speak? Can I speak first to the to the person? Oh, oh. All right. You so have to speak to the person. All right. I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Real quick. All right. All right. Who who's with me here today? Who who's who's a caller here today? Caller here today. Name's Edison. Hello, Edison. Hi there. I'm Spencer Boyd. Uh, nice to meet you. Hello. Hope you've had a good day so far. Listen, so me and Charlie, we're having a bit of a debate here. I know I'm right, but I, we need a, you know, we need a second opinion. When yeah, you, yeah. when you think of a salesman, right, like a traveling salesman selling their wares, what is you, what do you think of? What is your picture of that person? Well, instinctively, first, I think of Todd Packer, but secondly, in a real life scenario, I think of someone who walks around door to door, knocking, traveling to salesmen. Yeah. Are they going to different businesses? Like, they'll go to doctor's offices and, like, have a presentation during lunch, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Are they dressed? Going door to door. They're dressed pretty what? well. They're, they have to be dapper wherever they go. Yeah. So what, what do they wear? What do they wear? They wear a full suit. Yeah. It depends on where they're going to. If you're in a place where everyone's in like polos and like khakis, you wear polos and khakis. If you're in a uh, real life office scenario, like in the office, you wear a full suit because everyone's got full suit there. There we go. There we go. But door to door would be a polo because that's what people are wearing. Well, I mean, door to door? I don't know. I, I think you can do whatever. People wear even t shirts door to door. There you go. Exactly. Well, I, don't, I would never buy from those salesmen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Edison, for confirming that I'm correct. That's just, I just want to put that out there to our listeners. Our second opinion said that Spencer Boyd was correct. So I won this debate. Because... No, you didn't. That, Charlie, what are you talking about? That was so obvious. That was so clear that I just won that. I, I, I don't understand. What? No, you didn't win I that. would and never... Also, technically, neither did I, because all I did was just ask the closest person next to me. That's not like a random sample size. D Ch okay, listen... I'm sorry, we're not this big conglomerate radio show where we can just bring in polls left and right, all right? We gotta get opinions where we can. So don't, you know, we're, we're sticking with all that right, right now. you ask somebody? I Who's don't have... person next to you? There's no one next to me. There's a lamp. You want me to ask a lamp, Charlie? Do you want... You Is wanna... your mom home? No, she's out right now she having Mrs. food. Is Boyd home? She, I she just said, mom, I just Spencer? said she wasn't. Charlie, what? I was just, I was wondering if you could ask your mom. Charlie, she, I told you, she's not here right now. Okay, alright. Okay, oh god. Alright, we're off track. We've gotten completely off track of Knives, which Why is the topic so of the episode. About this? Charlie, I'm trying to make a show here, Charlie. I'm trying Nothing to make a living, happened. trying to get it's by in the world. All right, never mind. Listen, okay, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get heated about our topics, all right? I'm very passionate about this right now, so... Well, let's stay on the topic of knives. All right, are we? So, are we good? Are we good with that? You okay? Everybody, I calm mean, down. I, I, I never had a problem. <laughs> I think it's like you know how you feel, Charlie. Charlie, I'd, I, I feel like we both were in the wrong there and in the right. Well, I was in the right. We were both were in the wrong. So let's just move past it. So let's let's continue on. So I got a few more questions here. So, so Charlie, you know, as as I understand it. You actually make your own knives. You're an amateur knife maker. Is that is that true? Uh, relatively speaking. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you mean by relatively speaking? What does that mean, Charlie? Well, how do you define a knife? Well, okay, well, here, I'll give you the description. I found on Wikipedia. A knife, plural knives, is a tool with a cutting edge or blade, handheld or otherwise, with most having a handle. So do, you, do you make those? Well... Uh, I guess so. <laughs> what? Give us a, a nice, give us an aesthetic description of the knives you make, Charlie. 
All right, well, let's say I get an Amazon package, all right? It's taped shut, and I got to cut it open, uh-huh. so I got to I gotta use something, and there's no knife nearby, so, like, I, don't know, I grab something that, like, has an edge, and I make it into a knife, and I cut open <laughs> the box with it. <laughs> Wait, so you don't... So you don't actually make knives, you use things in a knife-like manner, is what you're saying. Well, I, I make knives out of them. They function not... as a knife, therefore they could be called a knife. But, but, those, the definition. but then those are already knives, so you don't make them, you just use them as knives. But... I make them into a knife. But you're not... Do you... uh, Okay, I'm sorry. Do you... A rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. Exactly. So so what you're saying is that even though it wasn't a knife, it's still a knife. Because it still has the same purpose. So you're not making them knives. They're already knives then, Charlie. Think about it like this (laughs) way. A boy, a boy tries to start a radio talk show. All right, but it isn't a radio talk. Show. It's not a radio talk show. If he tries to do a radio talk show. Does it make him a radio talk show host? I'm not trying to do a radio talk show, Charlie. This isn't a radio talk show. This is a podcast. This is a talking? YouTube podcast. Is it all audible? But it's not radio. It's not on the radio. How is that a radio talk show, Charlie? Alright, alright, whatever, what? whatever, yeah, okay, I make knives, alright, you, you, okay, you wanna go somewhere from that? I make knives, yep. <laughs> alright, okay, I don't know, I had some, cause I thought you'd like smelt down iron ingots to create no, knives, I don't know, all I had here, idea. all I had written down was that you're an amateur knife maker, I assumed that meant that you made knives, I apparently, I'm not professional, I don't that's why I said amateur, Charlie, but it's still, I mean, you know, if you're a professional, then you sell them, I assumed that you had your own little smelter kit or whatever, that you, then you just use for yourself. You didn't sell them. I don't know. Uh, well, obviously I'm wrong. Everything has changed in the past few months. We haven't seen each other. Really? Obviously I'm wrong. All right. So do, yeah. there we go. I'll admit that I had some poor information gathered upon you, and you're not actually a knife maker. You don't make knives. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So let's move on from that. Let's. Uh, um. Here's 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 something. Here's a fun thing. All right, that I think we could try out. What? What's? Let, let's. Uh, I'm gonna count down to three. All right, I'm gonna count one, two, three, and then let's both at the same time say our favorite knife, our favorite kind of knife. All right. Okay. All right. Are you Are you good for that? All right. Yep. I'm okay. great for that. All right. Great. So it's, at the count of three, we both say our favorite knife. All right. So ready? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Butter knife. Petite Carver. P- P- Petite Carver? Why do we have to say that at the same time? What, what? is this? All right, I, I just... Do you think, this, you this, think oh. my answer is going to buy, bias yours or something? Okay, Wait, no. I, All right, well, I just... I, that's how it's normally done. We obviously it didn't happen like that, so great. What, what is... What did, what did you say? I said the Petite Carver. You said the, a butter knife? Yeah, all right, let's... Go. Well, do you even spread hold, anything on bread? I feel hold, like you don't. Whoa, Charlie. I feel like you don't even use a don't, butter knife. Okay. I think you're just saying that for, like, the whoa. simplicity of it. All right, I'm offended right now because you don't even know how much bread and things I spread on bread, Charlie, with butter knives. You have no idea. Okay, that's practically my entire I life. L- All right, Charlie, listen, wait, w- let's, for the listeners and no, for me. No, I just want to know, what? I just want to know. Hold, wait, 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 wait. I'll get into the scientific facts. Hold on, we'll get into the debate of which is better soon. First, I need to know what is your knife? What are you, a petite carver? Yeah. What is, what is that, Charlie? Well, it's a, it's a serrated blade, probably about, uh... A uh, foot and a half long, maybe a little less than that, and it's uh, well, it's just really multi-purpose. You use it for cutting uh, large fruits and vegetables, and then meats also. And uh, you know, it, it it just has a lot of functions that are really handy around the kitchen, and I find it really useful. So, all know, right, it's pretty good. Okay, does it look nice? Is it has it a nice aesthetic to it? I mean. There could be multiple kinds of petite carver. It what mean, you know, it depends on what kind of brand you're getting. But you know, I mean, they're, of they're like the major, brands. the majority of petite carvers, do they they look nice? They look compared to other knives, because there's some like stout, short, kind of ugly knives out there. W- would you say the oh, petite carver so is a bit asking, more? Like if somebody, like if you thought somebody had broken into your house, would you grab this knife in self defense? <laughs> I, I mean, 
I guess I'm just saying, does it look pretty? That's that's really, but yeah, that's I mean, well, no. I yeah, mean, I, I mean, I would grab this in self defense. Okay, I mean, what, you know what? It no, cuts pretty well. That's that's really that's not what I mean because that's for use. We're so we'll go to for, use. For pretty, what, do you, what is that? We're talking. We're that's just talking just about does it look question. nice? We're talking. What does that mean? We're talking about the aesthetic. Happy. I'm ju I'm just talking about the aesthetic here, Charlie. Does it look nice? Would you put it in a, a art gallery? Okay, so now they're <laughs> two different things. Does it look nice or would I put it in an art gallery? I'm would you consider it? I'm just going to say yes, it looks nice. It's a, it's a knife. I don't know what you want from me. I don't, <laughs> I don't stare at knives. That's what I want. Oh, all right, Charlie. That's all I wanted. That's... Okay, great. So it, it's all not right. nice enough to put in an art gallery. It's it's not even art. It's a knife. Okay, well that is just making a lot of assumptions on art right there, which we're not going to get into. But which are pretty subjective, which is all exactly. you're talking about. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Is does it look nice? So you're saying it does, right? So just yeah. ignoring all use of it, ignoring how useful it is, it looks aesthetically pleasing. I to me yes. Okay. All right. So. We're going to assume, then, that to most people it'll probably look aesthetically pleasing. A butter knife also looks pretty aesthetically pleasing, I think. That's... That's great. I'm really happy that's... that you think that. I well, think that, as an individual, you have the right to deem what is pretty and not, that's... and I have no right to yeah. criticize that. <laughs> Alright, but what is your opinion on a butter knife, then? I don't know, kind of lame. <laughs> okay, but here's, here's the thing, Charlie. Of all the knives that you use at any point in your life, the butter knife is going to be the most used one. No, for me, it's the table knife. Because I'm always eating at the table, and i got to use the table knife. That's the, that's the one I use the most. Okay, but... I don't... And you know what? Okay. A table knife, you can spread butter with that, so that's what I do. So I it is kind a of knife. a butter knife, then. So... <laughs> it's, but it's a table knife. Okay, but, okay, but I'm Their saying, like... are different. That's objective. All right, yeah, you make some good points here. Yeah, I know, I do. <laughs> but, like, the butter knife is... But, okay, okay, but here, like, the sense you get from the knife, right? Because most knives, they're very sharp. They're very deadly. Which, you know, is nice. But uh, you, would you want to cuddle with a, a petite carver? I don't think so. Are but you like, saying you want to cuddle with a All right, a no, no, no. Knife? I'm saying the feeling you get name, from Spencer? it. All right, <laughs> I'll explain you myself. Time. Okay, no, no, no. Don't make this weird, Charlie, all right? Here's what I mean by that, is that it gives off a feeling, a sense of comfort and safety. Because like most knives, you're a little wary of. You're like, oh, that'll cut me. Watch out. But the butter knife, it never will. The butter knife is reliable. The butter knife is dependable. You can depend what are you on the butter knife. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're spreading butter in All right. the belly. We're not talking about you use yet. Cut large meats and vegetables. Like, every Char knife has its own purpose. Yeah. I, don't, I don't look to my knives for comfort. I don't... Well, I don't, after having a bad day, I don't come home and just look at my knives for the assurance that I'm still, like, a capable human being. Well, no, then, I, honestly, I, I think food. that's that's bad for you. I feel sorry for you that you can't have that, because, you know... I, I really don't think you do that either. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't. But if I did, the butter knife would be what I went to. And that's the point, Charlie. We're not you talking about use right I, now. I feel, like, I feel like you would turn to the butter knife. Exactly! Like of all the knives in, in the knife kingdom, you would turn to the simplest and most useless knife of all. Whoa! Oh, I'm sorry. The most useless knife? I'm sorry. What do you spread butter on? What, what, what do you use to spread butter on your bread, Charlie? What do you use I to spread you earlier, peanut butter? I use a table knife. Do you or do you use a butter knife, Charlie? I've touched the butter knife in my life in the kitchen only to move it out of the way all right. in the drawer for the table knife. I feel like that's a lie, I, and you're an outlier in this situation. Do we want to ask Edison? Do we want to bring Edison into this? No? What, what does that even mean? I just want to see how what much... Do you want me to ask him? How much does he use knife? the butter knife? What, how... What, <laughs> I just, uh, you know what, never mind. Let's not bring Edison into this. Because, uh, Charlie, we're, all right. So first off, you we're not even. I'm very frustrated. I am, because we knives. are thinking of two different things when comparing knives. Because you're thinking of use. And that's, you know, what, that would be, that would answer it's the question. Tool. yeah. I don't but that out. would answer the question to what is the most useful knife. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what's your favorite knife, Charlie. Not to use, but just to have. 
And I told you the petite car was <laughs> handy. Okay, but then I but all the arguments you gave me against the butter knife then have nothing to do with that. They're all about usage, which is not what we're talking about. I, what other what other function does a knife Just have? Just being don't, there, Charlie. Don't say careful. All don't, right. Or don't don't say being uh, comforting. All right. Listen. Okay. Listen. What what use does art have, Charlie? Huh? To be there, to look at it, to take it in, to feel something. That's what we're talking about. No, we're talking about <laughs> knives. That's I know, just, that's not but at all in what we're talking about. but in a, a, a more emotional setting than what they're typically used for. I'm trying to. I want you to in open an your emotional mind. Emotional setting. Maybe they're used to threaten and kill people. No, well, that's, that's not what we're talking about. Knife. <laughs> Charlie, the, Charlie, I'm trying to have you open up your mind to the possibilities here, Charlie. All right? You, all you're thinking of, you I got a one-track mind of, ooh, knives can only be useful for things. They can, that's the only point of knives. I'm trying to say, no, there can be more to them. There can be more to knives than just being used. <laughs> Charlie, you there? Yeah, I am there. <laughs> all right? I'm just waiting for you to say something that I feel uh, is worth responding to. Okay. All right. Uh, listen. All right. Listen. I feel like I, as always, have won this argument because you are just not even paying attention to it. You're not fully invested in it. So you forfeit your right to win this argument is what I'm saying here. Sure. <laughs> If that'll Fight for it, tonight Char next to your butter knife, go for it. Uh, Char all right. Well, you Spencer, you got it. thoroughly exasperated me. Char do you have anything more to say about knives? Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> all right. Well, then I guess I guess that's that. I guess that's 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 the interview. Thank you for uh, for being on today, Charlie. We're glad to have you as a resident. Not knife maker, but knife expert. Um, thank you for appearing. We're glad to have you on our guest spot. And uh, just say goodbye to all the listeners, if you will. All right. Peace out. That, all right. All right. Bye. Yeah, bye, Charlie. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, that, that, there we go. That was, uh, that was our interview with uh, resident expert. And it was Charlie. We that was our that was our interview with Charlie about knives. He said some things. I said some things. Edison said some things. You know, things were said, and I think that's really that's what we can take away from this episode. I just, uh, I, I just, I, uh, you know what? No, I'm not. You know, I'm not gonna explain myself because I know in my heart. Uh, hey, how, okay, how, well, so, all right, so, well, the, 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 this is, this is the end of the episode, this is, there we go, thank you for, uh, for listening, uh, to episode one, okay, great, wonderful, I'm glad you stuck around so long, that was very, thank you for that, that's very nice, um, this was Knives, talking about Knives, next episode we will be talking about something else, who knows, really? And that, that's, that brings me to my next... If, if you would uh, like for me and uh, my special guest to uh, talk about a specific subject or something, go ahead and leave a comment uh, about what, what you'd want us to talk about. What, 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 what topic would you like to be the focus of an episode about on? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So just go ahead and do that. Um, and also, you know, just... just, just behind the scenes, starting out with this show. So this is kind of a, a mix between, like, a podcast and a show. So there's a, there's a bit of a gimmick to it. You know, I do... It's a random topic, and I do only do very little amount of research and then try and talk about it, and I have Charlie on as a little guest. Boo -boo 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 -boo. So that, I'm, I, you know, I think that's fun. But um, if you guys want it to just be, like, a normal podcast where me and Charlie are just talking about things then you know leave a comment there and we might you know we might change it who knows uh but if you if you like it 
in this format, then uh, go ahead and, you know, if you, which also, I, 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 I know I'm dragging this out even longer, but the thing is, so I'm really only supposed to talk for about, like, five or six minutes at the start, and then we get Charlie on, or the guest, on. Um, and then that's the rest of the episode, so there's not that much of just me, there's the guest as well, but Charlie had a good old donut social, and he gave me very little time to prepare, I didn't have my timer on, so I talked for ten minutes, and I'm sorry about that, you know, it's, but hey, if you liked, if you liked that, if, if you liked the length that this was, if you, if you want me to talk for less, or me to talk for more, I just, uh, but, or if you want the episode to be longer, we're trying to do about, like, 30 minutes, uh, around there, but if you want to be an hour long, something like that, want us to try and keep talking about things, or even shorter, 15 minutes, what do, you know, just, le just leave a comment on what you'd like to see from this show, because we aim to please, but also want to keep our artistic integrity, so we may ignore your comment, or we may... I don't know, you know, but we'll, we'll, yeah, this is really, who's to say about anything? Isn't that life, huh? Who knows? It's all up in the cards. I also, I'd say up in the cards, that's not a saying, is that? I'm talking for too long, dude, I'm trying to end the episode, so the episode will be ending now. Um, go ahead, if you liked this, like, comment, and subscribe, classic YouTube thing. If you didn't like it, you know... Like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, that'd be nice of you. Uh, or you could comment about, like, oh, I, I didn't like it. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, it's maybe something more constructive than that. Or you could just, just say things. It's really up to you. I don't control anything that you write or say. That's, and isn't that life? <sighs> well, that interview is something good old Charlie... Uh, yeah, that's, there we go. End of the episode. See you again next time for another episode of What Is That? What's going on with that thing? With your host, Spencer Boyd. Yeah, but good, yeah.